All right, so I'm here in my Model Y because finally I am getting the time to replace some PPF panels that got damaged in Tucson, Arizona during my cross country road trip. Unfortunately, I was the victim of a hashtag Honda bump in Tucson, Arizona, where an idiot decided to come over but didn't have enough room and clip the side of the car. But in addition, right before that happened in Texas, something kicked up on the road. I still don't know what it was, but it shattered and it hit the A-pillar on the passenger side. So both of these incidents, had I not had PPF, I'd be looking at some paint repair and that would have been pretty expensive. But I got really, really lucky because the PPF did its job and it did more than I expected it would, especially with the collision that happened. So. I don't have any damage on the panels themselves. The PPF did get damaged. I'm looking at a fender, I'm looking at a front bumper, and then of course the A-pillar on the passenger side. Now I don't know exactly how much it would have cost had the paint been damaged, but it probably wouldn't have been too cheap to begin with. I did have to replace a wheel that was 500 and some dollars directly from Tesla, and the service center in Mesa hooked me up and I really appreciate them being able to get me back on the road during that road trip. But nonetheless, here's the thing. So instead of paying thousands of dollars for paint repair, I'm able to just replace some PPF panels on the front of this car. So if you go to Drive Protected website and you can look for these panels, you can either get a full kit or you can get individual panels. I went ahead and I got the pillar. I went ahead and I got the front fender on the left side and I got the bumper. Now I put all this in my car, apply code BTG for 20% off. So we're looking at $530 to have these three pieces replaced. So not too bad. Now you can also email Eric directly, mention code BTG. He'll still give you the 20% off, but if there's a specific piece that you can't seem to find on the website, not a problem. He can hook you up there as well. So a few months ago, I was talking to Eric about PPF and how some of you are still too afraid to tackle this yourselves. And I told him, you gotta come up with a way to do the front bumper that's easier. And he went to the drawing board and spent a lot of time putting together a front bumper PPF kit that was even easier than the one piece that has always been a part of this. So now it's five pieces and I installed it last night. And just to put things into perspective for you, I've done the front bumper on a Tesla probably four times now. And the first time I think took me like six and a half hours and that was with the 3M kit. I went with Expel the next time and I think I got it done in about four and a half hours and four and a half hours is pretty consistent for me. This five piece kit took me an hour and a half to install. It was stupid easy. And I think that those of you who have been hesitant, this might be the time to give it a shot. And even if you just wanna order the front bumper and try that first, I think it would be worth giving it a shot because it was stupid easy to do an hour and a half and I'm consistently four and a half hours to do the front bumper. It's just very complicated to do because of all the curves on the front bumper with one piece of PPF. So with this five piece kit, it's basically the top half of the bumper left to right. Then it breaks up those hard areas down on the bottom corners of both sides into two pieces each. So there's your five pieces. Now, of course, you do have one additional piece that goes across the very bottom lip of the car, but I'll show you all the install on all these panels uh, here at the end of the video. But one of the things that Eric at Drive Protected Shop has also been doing is he has also been providing a diagram to kind of help you with the install process. Now I followed this process where all the numbers are and it for some reason just made it simpler instead of trying to figure out in your own head, all right, what part should I do next? Just follow the numbers, literally that easy. Now, the one thing I did a little bit different after the first side is instead of going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, basically what I did is I followed those same numbers, but once I got to about six, I started to fill in this area. So that way when I got to the end, I didn't have all the stuff in the middle where I needed to stretch things out a little bit. So basically I had to peel some of the corners back off just to get things stretched in the right way so there weren't crinkles and things like that. So follow that diagram, move across the side and then you'll stretch over and it was just 
I can't even explain to you how much easier it was with this kit. I'm not just saying that, it was just that much easier. So really happy with this new five piece kit. Now do keep in mind there is a trade off and the trade off is you now have parting lines on your PPF on the front. So what that means is when you install, you wanna make sure that those lines butt up really nicely, they don't overlap and you want to put a lot of the tack solution right there on the edge to make sure it's really adhering to the car. A lot of people complain about getting dirt and stuff under the edges and it's because you didn't get it adhered to the paint well enough that dust is now getting in there. So for a day or so, just keep coming back out to the garage and pressing down if anything is sticking up. Don't drive the car until everything is staying down on its own. You don't have fingers coming up, things like that. If you do have fingers, just keep applying tack solution to get that down. And if that's not working, let the car sit and dry. It means it's too wet to be able to do it even with the tack solution. So after you do all that, you're done, you're good to go. I am incredibly pleased and this is exactly why I got PPF in the first place. You can get this done professionally and you will get professional results but I am not about to spend $5,000, $8,000 to wrap this whole car. I did this whole car for about $2,500 if I remember correctly. And that is incredible savings. I did it basically in thirds. I did the front third of the car, I did the side third of the car, and then I did the very back third of the car. I did it in that order. So it wasn't $2,500 all up front, but I wanted to protect the front of the car quickly. Did that first and I have been nothing but happy about this. As you may know, we also have young kids and when they come in and out of the garage, they're always touching this car. They're touching it, rubbing it, bumping it, hitting it with the bikes, things like that. And I'm a little OCD about stuff like that. So having that protection, even just for that, has been peace of mind for me. When I pulled the PPF off on the front, I was very happy to see the paint is in fantastic condition, still in great quality. This car looks brand new under the PPF, which is awesome. And if you follow us on Instagram, as I post pictures, I get comments all the time. Oh my God, how do you keep it so shiny? It's pretty simple. I have PPF on the car and I have a ceramic coat on top of that that I did myself as well. That just makes it continue to shine for a long time. This car has been used and abused many, many miles on this car. I do not baby this thing. And I take it to the car wash and the brushes just scrub and rub all over the outside of this car. But because I have PPF, I don't have to worry about damaging the paint or whatever. It's not a mortal sin if your car is protected to go through the car wash. And as a parent, I don't have time to hand wash all the time. Anyways, with all of that, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this install, specifically that front bumper as a five piece kit, just to show you. We'll do a walk around as well to show you the results. Good investment to protect the car. And if you are a little bit OCD, really care about how your car looks and get really upset about dings and scratches and things like that, something to really consider about. And yes, you can do this yourself. I've done it four times now, save thousands of dollars doing it yourself be happy with a good enough job and just know even if it looks good or bad it's protecting the car so don't be too worried about how great of a job you can do yourself because you can do this
So there you have it. As I've said, this PPF has paid for itself. I am very happy with the investment that I made, including my sweat equity in installing this, and you can do the same. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, of course, subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly. You can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.